Jesus told a story about a man who sowed some seed, and you will find a lesson there that everyone should heed. Some seed fell by the wayside, some with stones around, some fell into the thorns and thistles, and some fell on the ground. Hello everyone, it's lovely to be back with you again. Now then, we're going to hear a story today. And Jesus was very fond of parables. No, not a parasol for the sun, but parable. A kind of story with a hidden meaning. One of his parables was about a sower. No, not that kind of sowing. Sowing, spelt with an O, an O. It's another word for planting seeds. We're going to have to make this easier to understand. It's okay sometimes for, we all need a little bit of explanation. So let's open my book and read the story of the gardener. There was once a gardener who wanted to plant some seeds in her garden. The gardener had a daughter who wanted to help. While the gardener was digging the ground, pulling up weeds and getting prepared, her daughter, trying to be helpful, scattered a packet of seed everywhere. Some of it fell on the path. There were some birds nearby who spotted the seed and thought it would make a tasty treat, so they swooped down and gobbled it up. Some of the seed fell on into rocky ground. The soil wasn't deep, so the plants grew quite quickly, but plants need both rain and sun to grow strong. When the rain came, it quickly drained away through the rocks. When the sun came out, it was too hot for the tiny plants and they dried up and died. Some of the seed fell among thorns. The crops grew, but the thorns were in competition for the sun, the rain and the goodness in the soil. The thorns choked the plants who dared to take their place. But the gardener sowed her seeds on the good soil she had prepared in the garden. There it got the rain and sun it needed to grow into healthy plants. Producing 30, 60, and sometimes even a hundred times more than she planted. The little girl didn't understand what had happened. Why had her seeds not grown? Her mum sat down beside her and explained that all good seeds need special care to make them grow into strong and healthy plants. Good soil, space, water and sunshine. The disciples didn't know what to make of Jesus' story either. He spoke in riddles sometimes. He sat down and explained to them like this. The stories I tell you are about how God's kingdom and the words I use 
teach you are like seeds that you sow. Seeds that fell on the path are my words that are snatched away. In one ear and out the other, as grown-ups sometimes say. They don't even get a chance to grow. The seeds that fell into rocky ground are my words that grow quickly, but never take root. Some people are easily distracted by the next exciting thing to come along, and my words are forgotten. The seeds that fell among the thorns are my words that are heard and understood. They start to grow, but other people have different stories to tell, new ideas and other ways to live. My words get mixed and muddled and the plants never grow quite as they should. But the seeds that fell on the good soil grew healthy and strong. These are my words that sink deep into people's lives and make a difference in how they live and how they behave. The disciples nodded as they listened to Jesus. His words grew strong and were never forgotten. Lots of grown-ups teach us things. Our parents, grandparents, teachers, and even the Open the Book team when we tell you our stories. Do you always listen? Do you let good, good, good ideas grow? I'd like you to close your eyes for a moment and think about something you've learned today that you want to remember. Now it's time for a song. Right, we'll sing the first uh, verse and chorus so you can get used to it and then we'll repeat and you can join in. Jesus told a story about a man who sowed some seed and you will find a lesson there tune now so please join in if you can. Jesus told a story about a man who sowed some seed and you will find a lesson there that everyone should heed. Some seed fell by the wayside, some with stones around, some fell into the thorns and thistles and some fell on the ground. The seed it is the word of going to say a prayer and if you want to make it your prayer say amen at the end after me dear god thank you for the good things we learn each day thank you for people who can explain things clearly so we understand and thank you for stories we remember which make learning fun amen bye see you next time goodbye bye. goodbye children bye. good bye. you bye Jesus told a story about a man who sowed some seed, and you will find a lesson there that everyone should heed. Some 
seed fell by the wayside. Some with stones.